good. All right, so one of the discussions Ben and I had coming up here was being able to customize clubs, which is something I've done for 18 years now. Really, ever since my, uh, my oldest son was born, I started building my own golf clubs, and I really experimented a lot, became an expert in what's right for me. Um, and I was through a lot of trial and error, you know, watching stuff, you know, hitting balls on the range, trying different shafts, different heads. And so I kind of figured out what works for me. And uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and how, how that relates, okay? And what I've chosen to do is I buy the components. I, buy, I bought this head, this is a new three wood that I just put in the bag uh, this week. It's three wood, you know, I bought the head, bought this shaft, put the grip on it. And actually this is a, a 75 gram extra stiff flat, extra stiff flex and you know as i'm getting older i don't feel like i'm swinging as fast so i chose not to actually trim it like it's supposed to be for a three wood so this will play a little softer what i noticed on this last hole we were into the wind a little bit and that ball just kept rising into the wind it was spinning way too much which tells me i'm probably going to need to get another shaft and trim it the correct way and i think it'll bring that spin rate down but i've become an expert in knowing what works for me okay so that's something that i that i've done and if you really think, I mean, I'm buying component heads. I don't really have a lot of choices. There's not a ton of choices in three wood heads, like if I was buying something off the shelf. So I told Ben, I said, you know, that kind of reminds me of like open source software. You know, you, you have to go build, buy the components and build it up yourself. Maybe you don't have as much flexibility in what you get, but then you can do anything you want with it. So I don't know, I thought that was a pretty good analogy. Um, another thing that you know, I, I didn't notice for many years, I, you know, when I used to play out here, is I didn't have irons that were customized for me. And I'm fairly short, I'm five feet eight, you know, I don't have real long, ar I, you know, long arms or anything. So what happens is, is, is when you get a club off the shelf for me, I'm exaggerating, but if you can see that toe is sitting off the ground. So as I go to strike the ball, then the toe hits first and then the club will actually turn. So sometimes I get on a little uneven lie what will happen is that the, toe, the heel will dig and then the toe will flip over and I'll hit one way left. And so what, I've, what I learned many years ago is I need to bend that lie angle two degrees flat. So basically that way, we just take and bend right here, bend it two degrees this way. So now when I come in on a strike, everything comes in nice and flush. And so now the club isn't going to affect which way that ball goes. So if, I, if it was too upright or too flat for me, my toe would hit first and then, then my, my uh, face would turn to the right. So the reason why I talk about all that is if you don't have the time to be the experts in your software and in the tools you use to run your plant, then call someone who is. If I couldn't do these, this kind of work for myself, I would be going and working with a fitter because I've done it enough and I know that it's of value and it, my, I will perform way better if I go spend that money or invest that time. So my advice to you, do one of two things. Become an expert in the software, invest in your own people to do that, or find somebody like us, it can be us, great, but like us who can help you because they have that expertise, okay?